Get ready to be inspired as we introduce you to a woman who broke the mold and followed her passions against all odds. Right there, oh, she she gets it. there you go. Oh, boy. She was born to be a model, but she chose to be a fighter and became a world champion in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Her father had dreams of her pursuing a career in modeling, but she was determined to follow her own ambitions and become a top fighter. She knew that fighting was what she was born to do. For a father, it is very hard to see his little girl going into MMA fights. For a little girl, the only thing she wants to do is to make her father proud. Did she go all the way? Who is this girl? Mackenzie Lynn Dern Santos was born on March 24, 1993 in Arizona, United States to Wellington Megaton Diaz, a holder of the 7th Coral Belt. Megaton is highly esteemed and well-known in the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu community for being one of only a few who have attained this level of mastery. Mackenzie began her martial arts journey at a young age, training under her father. My dad has always been like a, my superhero. You know, for me growing up, I thought he was like a celebrity. Mackenzie recalls, Mackenzie's childhood was full of travel, bouncing between Arizona and Brazil due to the fact that her father and stepmother were both Brazilians. She is bilingual, speaking both English and Portuguese fluently. From a young age, she was trained by her father, Megaton Diaz and Luciana Tavares, her stepmother, who is also a black belt and a pioneer in women's jiu-jitsu. She found her father's training routines on the beaches of Brazil to be captivating and inspiring. Mackenzie delighted in watching him train, feeling a sense of admiration for his efforts. I grew up, when my strength trainer, Rogério Camus, I grew up watching him train my dad when I was little on the beach in Brazil. And I was little, like maybe five years old. And I thought, like, man, that's so cool. My dad's running, doing sprints, uh, jump, jumping jacks, push-ups on the beach. And I'm like, man, that looks so cool, looks so fun, you know? And today, he's my strength trainer for, you know, all my fights in the UFC. Mackenzie Dern started competing in martial arts at a young age. And by the time she turned 14, she was already competing in adult divisions. She went on to win a world championship in each belt level as she advanced to black belt rank, awarded to her by her father, Megaton Diaz, in December 2012, when she was just 19 years old. Mackenzie Dern made her Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu debut in January 2013 against the experienced Luisa Montero at the Copa Podio. Despite being a tough match, Mackenzie came out victorious with an 8x2 scoreline. Mackenzie has earned gold medals in every major grappling competition, including the ADCC World Submission Grappling Tournament and World Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Championship. She has also achieved six consecutive first-place finishes at the Asian Open. Her accomplishments in jiu-jitsu are unparalleled among her peers. And who could forget her impressive victory over Gabby Garcia at the World Pro event? With such a massive weight difference between them, Gabby was the clear favorite to win. Yet, Mackenzie stunned the world by defeating her. This shows how determined and skilled she is in her martial arts career. Mackenzie Dern had big dreams from a very young age. After becoming an esteemed jiu-jitsu world champion, her father, Megaton Diaz, wanted her to pursue a career in modeling, but she had other ideas. On July 22, 2016, Mackenzie made her MMA debut against Kenya Roses and Mackenzie! won the fight by a unanimous decision, taking the first step on her journey to fulfill her dreams. Mackenzie Dern then went on to face Montana De La Rosa, Catherine Roy, and Mandy Polk, emerging victorious each time to keep her perfect record intact at 4-0 before moving to Invicta Fighting Championship. She earned a perfect record in the Invicta Fighting Championship and secured a victory via armbar submission against Kayline Medeiros on December 8, 2017. Mackenzie's impressive performance in the BJJ Championships and MMA events led her to secure a contract with the Ultimate Fighting Championship the world's leading MMA promotion. On March 3rd, 2018, she made her UFC debut against Ashley Yoder at UFC 222, where Mackenzie emerged victorious with a split decision win. On May 12th, 2018, Mackenzie faced Amanda Cooper in an MMA fight. Despite missing weight and being fined for the catchweight violation, 
she was able to secure a rear naked choke victory in the first round. In February 2019, Mackenzie announced a break in her MMA career to focus on her pregnancy. On June 9, 2019, she welcomed her daughter, Moa, into the world. Our daughter, Moa, is here, June 9th at 8.25 p.m. A little late, stubborn, American, Brazilian, beautiful, perfect, God's gift, and our family's biggest pride. She overwhelmingly announced on her Instagram. Following her maternity leave, the Brazilian phenomenon stepped back into the octagon on October 12, 2019. But it wasn't a triumphant return. She suffered a unanimous decision loss to Amanda Rebus, thus ending her perfect unbeaten run in MMA. Don't miss out on this amazing opportunity to be part of our month-to-month -month giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe and comment I suck to enter. On May 30th, 2020, in Las Vegas, Mackenzie Dern made an impressive comeback with a victory against Hannah Cyphers. She secured the win by using a knee bar submission in the first round, earning her performance of the night honors. She earned her second performance of the night recognition after submitting Ronda Marcos via an armbar in the opening round on September 19, 2020 at the renowned UFC Apex Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. At UFC 256, the Brazilian star squared off against Verna Jandirova in the octagon. The bout lasted until the very end, and Mackenzie ultimately earned a unanimous decision victory. Mackenzie solidified her status as a dominating force in the UFC with another victory over Nina Nunez, earning her performance of the night honors. She claimed victory via armbar submission in the opening round. With an impressive 10 to 1 record, Mackenzie quickly gained recognition and began to take on tougher opponents from the strawweight rankings. Mackenzie Dern faced fellow Brazilian Marina Rodriguez in the octagon for her first ever main event UFC match. The intense battle lasted 25 minutes, and at the end of it, all three judges scored in favor of Marina, resulting in a unanimous decision defeat for Mackenzie. At UFC 273, Mackenzie faced Ticia Torres in the octagon. In a hard-fought matchup that went down to the wire, Mackenzie ultimately won by split decision. She suffered a majority decision defeat in her most recent main event bout against Yan Xiaonan. Despite going the full five rounds, she was unable to secure the victory. Many MMA experts are predicting that Mackenzie Dern will be the new queen of the UFC, taking the mantle from Ronda Rousey. Both fighters have a deep background in martial arts. While Rousey was a judo champion, Dern is a renowned BJJ prodigy. Given jiu-jitsu's ever-increasing presence in MMA, there is a real possibility that Dern will dominate the strongweight division and hold onto the title for some time. She certainly has the skill to make it happen. With Mackenzie Dern at the helm, the women's strawweight division of UFC has a bright future indeed. Oh, oh, big for Dern. Oh, man,